Now, so uh, let us start with the tracks and intercepts. Uh, I will ask a simple question. Most of you are aware of tracks. At least you have heard of or you have seen it. Somebody must have installed, somebody must have did it. What is, uh, what it tracks? Can anybody tell me what it tracks? What is to be tracked in the track? Right. In a way, right. So air has to be trapped. Okay. Foul, good, bad, whatever it is, the air has to be trapped. So we are clear here. Okay. So uh, what makes trap invented by that? Because in earlier era, the toilets used to be outside because there is no control of the foul smell or foul air or air. So that's why. It was everything was outside, but because there is an invention, you can see the toilets like this nowadays. There is a trap. There is a P trap. There is a uh, there is a bottle trap over here. So various traps are invented based on the design requirement. Okay. So uh, these slides are not much uh, theoretical. Okay. But they uh, you have to focus. So that you can answer the quiz properly. So as we said, trap. This is the trap. Trap shall be installed on each plumbing fixture, prevent sewer gas or vermin from entering into the structure. In a way, bacteria, vermin, or whatever pathogens, they can be stopped by having the trap. Definition: The device designed to provide when properly vented, a liquid seal, a liquid seal which will prevent the back passage of the air. Okay, the trap thus prevents sewer gas or vermin from entering into the structure. So simple definition, make it by heart. Parts of the fixture trap. This is inlet. This is outlet. This is trap seal. <coughs> this is not the trap seal. Not up to the bottom. Please make a note of this because. If you have the water below here, uh, less than this level, what will happen? The flue gases can, can come inside. Okay? So, trap seal is up to this much level only. So, this is upper dip, lower dip, crown, uh, trap arm, uh, tail piece of the fixture. Integral trap. Some fixture comes with inbuilt trap. They are called as integral trap. So, WC is usually there with P trap. There used to be S trap also. There used to be S trap also in quite earlier days, but now because of the efficiency issues, S trap is not much uh, used in the WC. Two types of WC floor mounted, another one is wall mounted. So, side outlet and bottom outlet. This is urinal. Urinal will have this type of trap arrangement and then outlet. Okay. There are uh, okay. traps required. Each plumbing fixture, as said earlier, except fixtures with an integral trap, shall provided with the approved trap or water seal trap. So, as earlier slide was about <coughs> inbuilt traps. This is without inbuilt trap, so you have to provide the trap. This is a Incorrect plumbing practice, you have to provide a trap. Install trap. Now, these type of uh, frames are there on which you can install the trap. See, uh, this is a fixture trap, this is the bathtub trap. Also, this can be used for the bathing area. No, sorry, not for bathing area, only for bathtub. This is the fixture trap. The vertical distance between fixture outlet and trap figure must be as short as practical. What is mean? This, this, this height should be as minimum as possible. So that it should be, uh, the trap should work effectively. And fixture cannot be more, this cannot be more than 600 mm in height. There is more elaboration in next slide. That is, let us say this is same. This maximum allowable is 
600 mm. Now, if there is a problem at site installation due to the space constraint, so you are taking it like down, lateral, again down. So the total vertical distance between the start and the end should not exceed 600 mm. Okay. And this is called as offset tail piece. This is straight tail piece. Development length of a tripod. What is the development length? This is A, B, and C. Minimum and maximum track arm distance. So this is uh, when it is installed. There is a fixture. Uh, sorry, there is a bed. And maximum distance when you are connecting it to the trap should not be less than 2D. So minimum 2D has to be there. Then you install the trap arm. So based on the various sizes of the outlet of the various fixtures, the development length is given in this table. It is easy to memorize, as I said earlier, twice 2D. This is 2D, minimum. So for 32, it is 64. And what is the maximum length is 750. So whenever it is going this way and connecting it to the uh, vertical shaft, it has to be 750, based on the type of fixtures. Why? Otherwise, what will happen? The solids or the water or the waste <coughs> inside this pipe will get stagnant. The flow is not that much, which will take the uh, all the solid particles away with it. Okay. So uh, you can uh, see this is quite easy. For 100, 2D is 200 mm, and maximum development length is 300, 3000 mm. That is 3 meters. And if it is exceeding 100 mm dia, which is hardly the case, okay, our maximum WC outlet is 100 mm. So, we usually get a few traps. Each trap shall be of self cleansing. So, trap construction should be such that it should be self cleansing. Whatever and how they design it, it is a simple way to design it. It is they are allow the water to get inside to any fixture and they see that whether it is getting cleaned or not. There is a hydrological design and there is a practical uh, test conducted and based on that they design the trap. What could be the MOC material of construction for the trap? ABS, cast brass, cast iron, PP, PVC, copper, SS or any other approved material. Each trap shall have the manufacturer's name stamped legibly. So what should be the good trap? Manufacturer's name should be trapped. Each tubing trap must have the gauge. Every trap must have a smooth and uniform interior waterway so that the water, the base should go quickly outside of it. It should not stick to <coughs> the walls of the trap. Trap C. Now, as we saw in the earlier slide, this is the trap C from the bottom, from this line up to the top of the trap. Each fixture trap shall have a liquid seal of less, a minimum 50 mm and not more than 100 mm. There are other criteria as to it also, I will come, uh, which are atmospheric and all, which impacts your trap seals also. However, in general case, wherever we are living in Mumbai or anywhere on the earth, general spaces, I am not talking about a very Himalayan ranges where uh, the atmospheric pressure is very low, over there the criteria varies. Okay, but that is not even 0-1% for your design time. Okay, for in your duration you will hardly design that type of uh, traps. So, should not be more than 100 mm. Traps shall be set true with respect to the liquid seal. So, should not be angular. Okay, you have to maintain the slope of pipe in the pipe itself. You can't say, okay, okay I will put the uh, uh, trap angular so that uh, this slope can be maintained. No. <coughs> Uh, trap slip joints, so these are called as slip joints. The trap shall be of same size as the trap R. So whatever outlet you have, the size of the trap should be same. Okay. Uh, slip joints are limited on each trap R to one slip joint after P trap. So one joint is maximum allowed. Otherwise what will happen, whenever there is a joint, there is a pocket created. So there are chances of deposition of the solids over there. Trap size, the nominal size diameter of the trap for a given fixture shall be sufficient to drain the fixture rapidly. 
what should govern the trap sizes it should be based on the fixture should rapidly drain off but no case less than nor more than the one pipe size larger than given in the table uipc1 so in summary what we saw in uh, all these slides a liquid seal not less than 50 not more than 100 right smooth and uniform interior water so it should be quite uh, smooth there should not be joints there are two traps which are broken you are jointing and installing at site should not happen what is the terminology self cleansing type A what is the material available abs cast brass ci pp pvc ss copper or other approved materials no internal moving parts it should be natural the trap see should not be uh, generated because of any mechanical thing like you are putting the flap which is operating mechanically and you are saying okay this is creating the trap no it should not be like that the trap partition of corrosion resistance material and non removable slip joints on each trap are limited to one manufacturers they should be legible prohibited trap no form of trap that depends on the seal upon the action of movable parts shall be used a strap and ground mounted trap shall be prohibited this will come in next slides also no fixture shall be double trap this is important you are just for the sake of uh, over redundancy or over shaped design you are putting two traps will not give that amount of throw there are chances that your trap will have the solids okay and uh, eventually it will get clogged so don't uh, practice this thing that you have trap after trap so somebody might say ki, okay there are traps at the home let us say at uh, uh, gray water wherever from uh, bathrooms we have gray water there is a trap and somebody may say okay uh, we are putting another trap at the bottom but it is at the bottom what is it called as gully trap drum and bottle trap shall be installed only when permitted by the authority having jurisdiction or special condition no trap shall be installed without a when except as otherwise provided in this code so there is a group of uh, trap or there is a trap which must have a venting arrangement prohibited trap as said a trap then uh, how it should be it should be like this water in the trap form c it should form c <coughs> water flowing through trap <coughs> flowing water reducing the pressure now there is a differential pressure over here which will impact your trap if effectiveness either your trap will get washed out or water may come inside extensively that's why sir also there to be so what is uh, what uh, acts over here when you wash your hand or when you start a, a tap the water flows because of the gravity and atmospheric pressure imposed on it prohibited tap <coughs> this type of trap shouldn't be there this is crown vent this terminology you must uh, memorize invert and crown So invert level is the bottom most internal diameter of the pipe, whereas crown is the top most part of the pipe. Drum and bottle trap. So these are trap specially are uh, used prohibited unless approved by age. This type of traps are there, but they are used in special cases, not generally. Bottle traps prohibited. This type of bottle traps are also prohibited due to choking issues. Trap partitions. what should be uh, the internal partition traps are prohibited as i said trap should what was the sentence trap should allow the water flow smoothly or it should be self cleansing what was it of self cleansing but if you put such thing will it be self cleansing most of the cases it will not unless you have a very huge flow coming at a very short span of time so it will not give its optimum performance of self cleansing this okay solid interceptor so 
there are two things now we are discussing one is trap another is intercept what what could be the meaning of interceptor anybody So to intercept something, okay, it has it it will not let the thing go out. It will arrest the thing. So it is called an intercepting. It is intercepting the maybe grease, maybe any toxic substance, maybe uh, fuel, anything. Drum traps. These are drum traps. Uh, this image is I will explain uh, over here. See, there is a sink. then something is allowed to get deposited here and the water will flow through water will rise eventually and then it will go out yeah. okay these are special type of uh, traps they are not used usually at homes what should be usually at homes self cleansing quick draining okay there are two types of the drum traps one is bottom cleaning when it has to be bottom cleaning can we install it on the floor No. no, we have to install it again. We have to give it a proper support. At the same time, there is another one, top clean out. Okay, so how we can you we have to we can install it on the floor where we can clean it easily. Floor drain traps. The drain uh, inlet located at all the tanks in full view. Puddle flanges for water tight pouring slab. Construction constructed to allow it to be readily cleaned, equipped with the approved backwater valve when subject to reverse flow. Okay. So quickly we will see what is the meaning of each bullet. Drain inlet located at all times in full view. So you can see this type of full view. Usually in the aqua and vega you will get this type of traps. Puddle flange for water type. So now slab level is at the. Uh, you can see this only. This is usually embedded in the finishing or slab level. So there has to be a puddle flange, which will not allow the water to go uh, to drip from outside, because there is an open area from the kitchen. Floor drain traps. This is popular. Nahani trap, key trap is adequate trap shape. You see, this is the range. Now more and more product you will see. More and more manufacturer comes here. And they will showcase you this type of trap arrangements. Okay, this is not the right way to do the trapping. Even Nahani trap. If you go to the courts, Indian courts, they say 25 to 30 mm of trap seal for Nahani traps inside the bathroom. But you will not get that much over here. So usually, what the manufacturers are coming up with, they are putting one more line, one more bucket over here. in such a way that the seal increases in such a way that the seal increases you can uh, see i think harish bhai can arrange from astral for the nahari trap uh, for your next uh, session one trap on one arm as we discussed there should not be trap after trap okay so there is second thing if this is one outlet you are providing a trap connecting here this is second a second outlet from the sink which is you are connecting a trap separately and connecting to the same outlet is incorrect way to do it what is the correct way the shown is correct way. you combine it give a trap that is the right way to do it two trap on one trap arm prohibited see so twin Uh, is not an approved fitting for the drainage piping. You have to provide a 45 degree Y like this. Then only you can connect the double trap. This is incorrect that you are connecting two traps to one outlet. Okay. This is worst because you are connecting three traps at one outlet. you can combine all three outlets provide a trap and take it out that is the right way to do it two fixtures on one trap so this way you can say this is the maximum length allowable as per code so code says what 800 mm 
should be the maximum distance between two outlets. Okay? If it is thousand, have a separate connection. You can do it like this also. So if there are two sinks, in commercial sinks you can see this type of fixtures. So two sinks, you can connect it and then you can provide a trap. Provided the distance between two sinks should not increase more than 800 mm each. Food disposal sink. Each food waste disposal unit must be connected to a separate trap. What could be the reason? So, it is most of the time it is advisable that provide a crusher after your sink. We don't provide it because we are habituated to throw everything in the sink. Okay? That is not the right term. We must provide that. If it is a commercial sink, like you say uh, McDonald's, uh, Domino's, then they must have a localized grease trap. Grease separator, localized. Of course, it will eventually go to the bigger grease trap, but then they must provide a grease separator at below the kitchen counter. Okay, that's why it is organic. The waste is organic in nature, and we must provide a separate disposal. Clothes washer, particularly your washing machines. So see the criteria. This is uh, to be noted. Maybe for your quiz competition. Stand pipe, 450 mm to 700 mm length above the trap. So this is not more than 750 mm, not less than 450 mm. Trap minimum 150 mm above the floor. So bottom of the trap, bottom of the trap should be 150 mm above the floor. It should not be at the floor level. Trap protected by vent. Okay, so this is the trap. And there is a venting arrangement when it comes to the uh, shaft uh, or so waste pipe, then it should be vented properly. Why it should be vented properly? There is a reason given in the next slides. A device designed, uh, designed to provide when properly vented a liquid switch which will prevent the back passage of air. Traps protected by wind. So here again you can see that there are uh, different traps which are connected uh, to the various systems and venting is given, even in the infra networks. What is the back siphonage? Now here comes a very, very crucial part of the this presentation. Till now it was more about products, okay? Now it is about technical part. What is back siphonage? What is back pressure or blow off? So, uh, maybe in your college days, after petrol nikala hoga tanki se, ek bread ke tanki se petrol nikala bottom mein bhara. What was the phenomena which helped you siphonage? Okay. Same here. What will happen? When you are not allowing the air to get inside into the waste pipe, what will what it will take? It will suck what is available. So it will suck your taxi. So siphon is may happen. Second, back pressure or blow off. When there is a differential pressure. Now let us assume, let us assume there is a hundred story building. Somebody has flushed at 80th floor, 80th floor, and somebody has floor 20th floor. Now the water will not come uniformly. The distance between two flows, two uh, discharges, <coughs> will be reduced. As much as they come to the bottom, the, dis uh, the distance between those two will be reduced. But there is a amount of air available. Air, call, air, air is between the two throws. Okay. So what will happen? That air will have to go somewhere. It will come out from your traps. And you can see that your trap uh, is uh, throwing water outside the WC. Okay, this is incorrect reason. So there are products available for that. And out of that, NBC tells you to design the proper venting system for that. So understanding of siphonage and uh, this back pressure is very important. Traps protected by wind pipes. The operation of the trap is based upon the 
simple hydraulic phenomena that is equal atmospheric pressure on both sides. You have same when you flush something, okay? The atmospheric pressure acting on uh, at the point of your WC or uh, wash basin and the atmospheric pressure within the waste pipe must be same. If you close your waste pipe from top, the water will not go out uh, below. So it will suck your trap seal, then it will go uh, below. Okay? So you have to be very careful about it. When a trap is filled with trap seal, the atmospheric pressure at the tailpiece side is equal to the atmospheric pressure at the trap. Common. You can see the trap seal. It means there is an equal atmospheric pressure. If you don't see the uh, trap seal, if you don't see the water in the trap, what is the meaning of it? There is something wrong. Either there is a positive pressure or negative pressure which has made the trap seal blown up. We are talking about two parts only. Positive, negative, two parts only. There is third also which will come in. Traps protected by vent pipe. The vent facility is to increase the pressure on both sides. Whenever you are flushing something, make sure that your waste pipe should have same amount of atmospheric pressure. How it will, how you can ensure that by providing adequate vent. A pressure variation of plus and minus one kg is sufficient to cause a trap seal to lose its seal. One kg is that way huge. We consider it quite normal, but 10 meters of water column is good enough for a trap to operate incorrect. A positive pressure will cause the trap to blow its content into the fixtures and negative pressure will siphon the trap seal into the drain. Understand this statement very well. Okay. A positive pressure will cause the trap seal to blow its content into the fixture and negative pressure will siphon the trap seal. So you have bent by trap arm, drain, uh, this is for the generally wash basin, this is for the WC. Trap protected by the vent, there is uh, not less than uh, two times of diameter. Each fixture trap must be protected when located so that the development length of the trap arm from the trap wheel to the inner edge of the vent will be within the distance never less than two times the diameter of trap arm. Trap seal protection. Floor drain or similar trap directly connected to the drainage system and subject to infrequent use shall be protected with the trap seal primer. So why, what is the concept over here? You are not at home for 20 days. Okay. So what will happen? The third phenomena will occur here. That is evaporation of the trap seal. So what has to be done? A primer has to be installed, which will uh, periodically allow the normal water to get into the fixture so that trap seal will be intact. The first two, siphon and back pressure are covered in UIPC, but not evaporation is discussed prior to this point. Okay. Trap seal protection. Floor drain or similar trap subject to infrequent use shall be protected with trap seal primer. The trap seal primer shall be accessible for maintenance. It is nothing but a type of arrangement, valve, which allows the water to get periodically on. So you can see it. There is, this is the primer installed which allows the water to get, uh, bypass and get inside to the floor trap directly instead of fixture. Sink and wash basin, tap primer. So you can primer, connect the primer here. Interceptor, a device designed and installed to separate and retain deleterious, hazardous and undesirable matter. So whatever you answered is, uh, whatever you answered, now you can relate it. Protect system from substances which may be harmful, protect uh, treat waste before entering into the system. Their function is to prevent liquid waste containing the grease, flammable, sand, solids, acids, anything, which is generally identified as to be intercepted item. These are to be intercepted. At the same time, normal state liquid waste must be permitted to discharge by gravity into the drainage system. There are three methods 
by which you can separate the unwanted material. One is flotation, the things which you float. Now what can float? Anybody? What can float on water? Oil. 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 Grease. So that oil and grease, that so flotation is there. Sedimentation. So sedimentation is what? Allow the bigger particles to settle down. How you can allow them? Either you coagulate them by using alum or if you don't have that uh, much time, you can allow the water to be stagnant for some time. Okay? The coarse particle will automatically settle down. And neutralization, like pH. pH you can neutralize, either alkaline or acidic, whatever type of nature you know. 7 to 8 is the range, so you can add either acid or alkaline liquids and make it neutralized. So that it will not impact the carriage system, which is piping. Sand traps, so you can allow this water to get in. You can see the difference uh, between the inward level of the pipe. So sand gets trapped. Sand is by nature, it is heavy in nature. So you allow the water to stagnate for a while and it will get trapped. The grease trap. The grease trap science has gone much more ahead than what it should be. Okay. I would request IK to arrange one more session for uh, grease traps. Okay. It is a very serious subject to be studied. Sir. So grease trap is a plumbing device installed drainage to trap the non-petroleum FOG from the wastewater. Whatever oil, grease you have, you come, be it butter which we throw, oil, palm, uh, data, anything. So grease interceptor, large scale establishment with higher volume of flow, more than 50 gallons per minute will need a grease separator, interceptor, as they are better equipped to handle the extensive FOG that flows through the device. So you have, uh, wherever you have, this is a now criteria is set by the plumbing code. Wherever you have 50 gallons per minute and more flow, you must install, but from where? From kitchen. Okay. From kitchen, if you have this much specific uh, load, then you can, you must install the grease set interceptor. So, this is about the trap set interceptor. Okay. We will quickly go to the next uh, presentation.